This video is by Straight Goods News, sgnews.ca. Well, we haven't seen the legislation yet, obviously, so we'll reserve judgment. But I can tell you what we are looking for, and that is um, that it's very important that the, that the federal government abide by the court decision, the Supreme Court of Canada, that made a very clear decision about insight. Um, and so I think it's very important that the government um, not continue with uh, sort of its rhetoric and its ideology, but they make a very clear process available based on evidence and community support, because that's what the Supreme Court decision was all about. So that's what we'll be looking for in the bill, uh, that it should lay out a clear process about if there is a community that wants to uh, uh, set up a safe injection site, that there has to be community support, um, and that, uh, uh, that the process will be clear and they won't run into multiple obstacles or legal uh, pushback from the federal government as they did for so many years with Insight in uh, Vancouver's downtown east side. Obviously this was a, a big issue uh, in, in your area uh, and it was a long-standing fight I guess for the NDP made, made it pretty clear where the party stood on this issue so uh, what, you know what just just kind of a reminder why, why do you think that uh, the sites are important? Well you know Insight has been a very important and successful program that has saved people's lives. It's much better for people to be in a medically supervised facility when they're injecting and not dying from needless and preventable overdoses and being in contact with health professionals than it is to be out in you know filthy dark back alleys shooting up. And so the evidence, the studies for Insight is absolutely overwhelming, both nationally and internationally. And the battle over Insight that went all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada was because people in my community understood how important insight is. Insight's not part of the problem, it's part of the solution. It's not the only part of the overall solution to the drug question, but it's an important element in terms of harm reduction. And the, the fact is the federal government fought it tooth and nail every step of the way. God knows how much they spent just in the lawyers. Uh, the decision that the Supreme Court gave was incredibly important. It validated the work and the position of the community. Um, so we expect to see the legislation on Thursday that it follows the decision of the Supreme Court of Canada, uh, that it lays out a clear process so that where there are local communities, municipalities who believe that insight would be an important element of a response to injection drug use in their community, that they're not going to suddenly be thrown into a, a you know an, a hideous process uh, of the federal government fighting them uh, every step of the way. So that's what we're going to be looking for in this legislation. You talked about the fact that you know you don't believe uh, that that it's part of the problem. The suggestion from some conservatives was you know that this could be contributing to the issue. Um, you know again, how, how would you respond to that suggestion that tax here dollars are being used to, to I've fund heard it. every single one of their arguments against insight. None of them are rational. None of them are based on evidence. Uh, they are all based on their own political ideology and belief. Um, and you know, we need to set that aside. We need to actually focus on clear public policy. We need to focus on the fact that insight has shown itself over and over again through numerous studies um, that it does work. It is part of